The American dream comes in different shapes, different forms from different people. If I look at the American dream of my grandparents, it was simply just for wanting a better life for their families, for a better education, for better job opportunities, uh, for a safer way of living. If it weren't for them and their bravery, I would not be where I am today. My grandparents are from Mexico. They came here and they made something out of nothing. I mean, we're talking no money in their pockets and the clothes on their backs. My grandparents on my dad's side is Miguel Gomez and Crucita Gomez. My grandpa Miguel, he was the first to come from that side of the family. And he left behind my grandma and his sons. And I mean, he worked in fields, he worked gardening, he did everything, you name it. Yo me vine un año antes que ella. Uno de los obstáculos más, más para mí fue dejar mi familia. Se siente muy feo estar uno solo. Enseguida, luego, luego, hice el, el esfuerzo para que ella se viniera. Y ella se vino con tres de mis hijos. Yo fui la que, la que tuve más, uh, más dificultad para pasar porque me agarraron una vez, me regresaron. Mis hijos ya estaban acá y yo todavía ya hasta el siguiente día ya me pasaron. My dad was the first born American in their family and they call him their little miracle baby because he kind of changed it all. My grandparents on my mom's side are Ángel Esquivies and Guadalupe Esquivies. Yo me vine en 1966 la primera vez en cajuela de un carro, donde casi me venía ahogando en el camino por el humo del carro. Venimos, yo en personal vine por, por necesidad, porque tenía hambre, porque había mucha pobreza en mi casa. Yo pensé, dije, yo voy a ir a Estados Unidos para poderlo ayudar. Y nosotros por mi papá, porque también buscar el porvenir, porque él dijo que en este país era el país de las oportunidades que era un país donde todos éramos iguales. I'm very lucky and very blessed that the crossover from my grandparents, the multiple times that they did it, that they didn't lose their lives. ¿Y esto dónde está? Que traer tierra de allá para echar. Growing up, I visited Mexico quite often. Um, I had the opportunity to actually spend a Christmas out in Tena uh, one year, and it was life-changing. I'll never forget driving by a house that had no roof. They had tarps as the roof, and they didn't have a Christmas tree. There wasn't much furniture in the house. There wasn't a front door. And, you know, the little kids were playing out in the front, and it was just like, wow, this is eye-opening. My parents, Alejandra and Francisco, are high school sweethearts. By the time my mom was 23, we had all four kids, and it was just us six going through everything, life together. When I was about nine years old, we lost our home. It was at a moment where, I mean, the economy was crashing. So many people were losing their homes at the time. We got to a point where we were tapped out of our savings. We actually left everything, and we just picked up what we needed and moved back to Inglewood, where I was born and raised, and moved into my grandparents' converted garage. It's like that pre-teenage age where you're like old enough to know what's going on, but you're too young to actually do something about it. I decided that, you know, the one thing that's always been there for me, besides my family, was music. And that's when I turned to it the most. By the time I knew it, I was 10 years old, booking commercials and flying to New York City. It was the coolest thing, and I loved every second. But what I loved the most was the paycheck. <laughs> And if we're being honest, what I loved the most about the paycheck wasn't the fact that it was my money, but it was our money. I was bringing something to the table, and I was so happy. Just knowing that I was able to contribute to, you know, what my dad was doing for us and what my mom was doing for us. Somehow, somewhere inside of me, in the blood that runs through me, and my work ethic and my ambition, it comes from my grandparents, it comes from my parents, it comes from our unity as a family and our, our will to just do whatever it takes. Muy orgullosos de ella porque es noble, cariñosa y muy responsable a su, a a su, su trabajo. trabajo. Digo, oh my God, <coughs> Becky va a llegar lejos si Dios quiere. Es 
Hermoso tener una nieta así. Yo la admiro tanto. Me being, you know, second generation American, knowing that like so much sacrifice has gone into me being able to just having gone to school or just being able to walk out and not have to think about being deported somewhere like little things like that it's so easy to like live days without thinking about it but when i see my grandparents i mean i look at my grandpa's hands like it makes me very emotional because the bravery the strength the belief that they carried within them just wanting better for their families. It's so inspiring. And I wake up every morning knowing that I want to make them proud and that I want to make a change. So many people are just coming here to better their lives or even to stay alive from different parts of the world and to follow their dreams. And the idea of that being taken away from people families being torn apart and and I've seen it happen it breaks my heart the immigration system can be bettered or a bit more efficient or more effective for more people all those things factor into why I'm voting cuando ya me hice residente me dijeron usted quiere hacerse ciudadano en un futuro claro que sí bendito sea dios fui el primero que me hice ciudadano y luego luego empecé a apoyar a mis hijos andile Es tiempo, el gobierno les da mucha garantía a hacerse ciudadanos. Sobre todo lo primero, ejercer el voto. Pues Nuestro es. voto es muy importante en estos tiempos. Todos sí. tenemos que votar, que nadie se quede en su casa. To make a change, we have to really be aware and not be afraid to speak up. It's one thing to tweet about it, but it's another thing to go and register to vote and actually use your voice. My name is Rebecca Gomez and I vote for families to stay together and for people to be allowed to follow their dreams. Mm -hmm.